Sailor Fountain Pens in Japan has come out with a number of really great looking special editions, especially in their Shikiori collection, the latest of which is these four Japanese fairy tale pens. So I wanted to show these to you today, give you a little bit of close up look in video form. Let's go. So this fairy tale collection has come out in their Pro Gear Slim model. If you want to learn more about the Pro Gear Slim model, we have a whole separate video about the Sailor models uh, with much more details on that. But these pens were released in April of 2020. And what's special about these is they were all embedded with a little bit of gold shimmer to them. And it's kind of hard to see those in photos, which is why I wanted to show you in a little more detail here in this video, because it's got some very kind of subtle glimmer to them that I think uh, a lot of you might enjoy. The Grateful Crane is a light blue, and this has the most translucence to it out of the bunch. It's not a ton. I wouldn't call it a demonstrator or anything like that, um, but it's going to have a little bit of this kind of like, I don't know, glowing kind of effect to it just because you sort of see a little bit through the pen, um, but you can't really, I don't know, it's kind of interesting. Sailor is uh, one of the only companies that I know that does this like very, very slight translucent uh, to it. The shimmer in this one is really subtle really subtle. You got to get really close up to see it. So if you're not as much into that kind of glittery shimmery effect, uh, maybe you might like this one. The Princess Kaguya. Now this is a red to pink. And if you see pictures online where it looks somewhat kind of red, maybe a little orange, maybe a little pink, it actually kind of shifts like that in real life. I know our photographers had a devil of a time trying to get this thing color accurate. It kind of does that depending on the lighting and, and what you got going on in your natural environment. Um, so if you kind of like that, it's kind of interesting. It adds a little bit of a, a dynamism to the, the color of your pen. Uh, the glitter in this one stands out just a little bit more. Um, so it's going to stick out a little bit more than the Grateful Crane did. Um, has a tiny bit of translucence to it, maybe not quite as much as a Grateful Crane, but um, it's still got kind of that interesting kind of like glowy effect. And the Vega, this one is just the most pronounced out of the bunch. You know, it's got a really dark kind of backdrop to it. It really kind of looks like a, like a galaxy or something like that, just because you're really seeing this glitter pronounced against this kind of navy blue backdrop. It's very opaque. You're really not seeing through this pen at all. Um, the glitter is what's going to pop on this one. And then we come to the Dragon Palace. This one is really kind of a unique color. Uh, you don't see a lot of pens that are kind of in this like lighter kind of green range. It almost looks like a shade of that like phosphorescent kind of glow in the dark material, uh, but it doesn't. Believe me, I've tried. I've held it up to the lamp and, you know, gone into the bathroom and, <laughs> and turned out all the lights. It does not glow, but it looks like it should. Anyway, if you get a visualization of what that color looks like, that's what you got going on. Um, you do see the glitter a little bit here. It's got a slight bit of translucence to it as well, keeping on theme with most of these other pens. Um, but uh, this one is really, really pretty cool. So the Pro Gear Slim, if you want a little bit of a recap, this is kind of Sailor's entry, entry level um, gold nib pen. So this pen is going to be um, the smallest of the nibs that they have. Um, the 14 karat nib, it's relatively stiff. It's got a little bit of feedback to it when you're writing, um, more so than maybe some other pens. That's kind of how just Sailor does it. And that's cool. They have a nice range of nib sizes on the Pro Gear Slim in general, but on this fairy tale collection, it's going to be medium fine only. Now, medium fine in general is a really good nib size. That's probably closer to maybe a Western, like a German brand, uh, a fine nib. Because uh, in general, the Japanese, when they grind their nibs, the finer nibs tend to be on the finer side um, to their Western counterparts. Uh, so this is going to be a nice everyday kind of nib size. It's going to work really well on absorbent paper, um, but it's going to write a nice consistent line. It's not going to be super dry and it's not going to feel really, you know, really extra feedbacky like maybe an extra fine wood. So the nib design is highly detailed. You know, the Sailor has some beautiful nibs. You're going to see that kind of imprinted in there with the Sailor Anchor logo as kind of a focal point. And that Anchor logo is also in the finial. It's a little cabochon that's embedded in that finial, which you're only going to get on the Pro Gear models, not the 1911 kind of round top versions of the Sailor pens. It's a smaller size pen, relatively lightweight. I have pretty large hands, so this pen looks a little small in my hands. I can't really use it when it's unposted so easily, so I personally prefer to post it. It's much more comfortable to me that way. But overall, it's really light. It's great to use for long writing sessions. It's got a good grip to it, very comfortable to hold. The threads are not very pronounced. Um, even though you know I've got larger fingers, my fingers are definitely on those threads. It's not something that really gets in the way or, or bothers me when I'm writing with it. 
It's got some nice trim details, really, um, you know, kind of subtle design on the clip, nice engraving with a second band on the center band, just kind of classes it up a little bit. And honestly, I think it kind of balances out a little bit of the gold shimmer that you're gonna see. So it gives it a nice complete look to the pen. Fit and finish is gonna be really good on these pens. I think if you haven't had any experience with Sailor pens, you know, this model is a really good one uh, to get you into it and introduce you into what Sailor is all about. The way these fill is a cartridge converter pen. A converter is included and it's a Sailor proprietary converter. So that is one thing to consider when you're getting into it is if you have a cartridge collection of a different brand, this is something you're gonna need to, uh, you know, uh, kind of move over into the Sailor uh, territory just a little bit. MSRP on this pen is gonna be $225. By the time you see it, you know, most places that might have a slight discount, it's gonna be under that $200 range. So for that, it's not a necessarily a no brainer, but it's getting into that uh, entry level gold nib pen range for Sailor's products. I think it's a great introduction. I personally have several different Pro Gear uh, Slims as well as 1911, uh, you know, of the smaller size. And uh, I'm definitely a fan. Me personally, I tend to gravitate a little bit more towards the midsize or maybe king of pens, but those do get up there in price. So I think this is a great way to get introduced to um, some of what Sailor has to offer without going full tilt on uh, some of the higher end pens that they have. So if you wanted more details about the Pro Gear Slim and about the Fairy Tale collection in general, you can check it out on gouletpens.com. We have pictures, we have tech specs, we have all kinds of great information about it. If you like this video and you want more like it, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching and right on.